Hi, my name is Sylvia and welcome to Sylvia Francisci coaching channel. If you're looking for a place where you can find information and helpful advice on your performance and career, this is the great place to be. Today we talk about morning routine and I would like to share with you some um, tips and tricks what you can uh, do in order to boost your day elevate and elevate your life. So uh, before I start giving you the details of the mor my morning routine, I would like to tell you that I have developed this morning routine over a few months. I have tested several options and this is the one that works for me the best. So once you hear it, you can obviously adopt it as it is, or you can inspire yourself and only take those elements that you seem may be helpful for your life. So I would start with um, the, the alarm clock. So when I usually wake up at the same time, my, after my alarm clock rings, I'm using um, sound box melody. So nothing uh, very strong, nothing also very silent and uh, disruptive. I'm using sound box uh, melody to wake me up. And um, after I wake up, uh, I usually use the, the second rule, five second rule by Mel Robbins. So I count five, four, three, two, one, and then I get up. After I get up, I get a full glass of water and I say in front of my bathroom mirror um, this mantra. I hold my hand on my heart and uh, another hand I hold on my stomach and I'm say, I am safe, I'm loved, I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm safe, I'm loved. I'm okay, I'm safe, I'm loved. And basically I repeat it several times. What this does is it calms down the paras parasympathetic, more, more parasympathetic nervous system and basically relax your body. Then, because I'm standing in front of the um, a bathroom mirror, I did. I do high five and then I uh, go back uh, to my bed. I make the bed and then I start, uh, first I do morning meditation and second I do yoga or uh, quick warm up, uh, warm up exercise. So the meditation I usually use, this is everything is offline, right? These uh, tracks are downloaded. So I either use, for the morning meditation, I either use Marissa Pierce morning meditation or on YouTube or Andrew Johnson on Inside Timer app. And for the exercise, I usually use, um, usually exercise with, uh, I do yoga with, uh, yoga with Adrian or I do uh, Tsujin Fit with Marta. So there are two different types because yoga is very slow, it's very calm, it also wakes up the body. But what the exercise do on the other hand, it's quite uh, quick, cardio and um, yeah, uh, my cardiovascular system is basically uh, very, it uh, gets very started and very quickly um, I've got, I feel a lot of energy afterwards. So what I'm saying is that depending on the day, I either start slow or I start with a quick uh, warm up. After that, I take shower. I finish my shower with a cold shower usually. That's another um, teacher, Wim Hof. He helped uh, me understand the effects on the cold shower. And after the cold shower, I have breakfast. Usually it's a porridge, uh, bowl of porridge. And uh, after that, what I do is um, I use my, I basically do some mental work. So I do have use my planner, my diary for affirmations, as well I check the schedule, right? So with the planner, I check the day. I, want, I also um, think how I want to feel. I'm running through the day, so basically, I see myself in different situations and I think this is really important. This is what I learned from Brendan Bouchard, uh, who invented this high performance planner, because when you imagine yourself in a certain situations, you kind of prepare yourself for that. And then when you experience them, they're much easier for you, especially now I'm talking about the more 
the high emotional uh, situations, but also the regular ones. And after, okay, and the last thing is once I finish the planner um, and the diary, then I, um, then only then I turn on, I mean, I connect the phone to my uh, internet and then I check my messages, sometimes reply to some emails if it is a quick one, uh, if, there, if these are quick ones, and then I, um, what else do I do? And the last thing was I listen to news. So as you can imagine, the uh, connecting to the external world is pushed till the end of the morning routine. The whole beginning is about breathing, m meditation, exercise, and focusing and planning the day and really thinking about the day as it is. This help will help you and you will see the changes. Believe me, if you start doing at least a few of these steps in the morning, you will see the positive changes already after a week if you start doing them every day. Because I think what helped me the most was when I didn't check the phone first thing in the morning plus the meditation. These techniques are here to allow you to calm down, to feel grounded, to also be more assertive and to control the emotions over the day, which obviously, as we know, many things happen, different projects don't work the way we want, people uh, get frustrated on us. So yeah, this morning uh, routine definitely helps uh, helped me to stay more grounded and calm during the day and as well focused and productive and achieve uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going closer every day uh, to my dreams and to my goals. So give it a try. Let me know how you're doing with that because I believe that um, that some of those elements uh, may I may change in the future, uh, potentially, if obviously my life situation will change. But at the moment, um, this is working for me. I see positive impact uh, of this morning routine on my life. And that's why I'm more than happy to help you and to um, inspire you with this uh, meditation. If you have any comments, any questions, definitely let me know. I look forward to hearing from you and uh, I'll speak to you soon.